Hello, I'm Regina McCann, has president of Forge Wealth Management, and today we're going to talk about bonds. Uh, we're going to take a high level look at this wide reaching investment class and discuss the 10 things you should know about bonds. First thing, what is a bond? Well, a bond represents a loan from an investor to a government or a company. These entities issue debt to finance their operations and promise to repay investors the full amount plus interest in a specified time frame. And that's typically ranging from one month to 30 years. Think about it as your mortgage, um, you're borrowing money to buy your house. Well, a bond is a government or a company borrowing money to do other things uh, for their needs with their business. So a similar comparison, yet very different, right? The second thing you should know is that bonds have more than one purpose. Now, different types of bonds have different characteristics, which help them serve varying roles in a portfolio. The most common roles are helping to dampen volatility from equities and potentially providing income, preserving capital, or hedging inflation. Item number three that you should know, the word bond is a big umbrella. There are many types of bonds from government bonds of the countries in the US of, of other developed nations, emerging markets, uh, to government agencies and even local townships. Now corporations can issue bonds too, uh, the quality of which depends on their financial strength. Other bonds are backed by pooled securities, such as mortgages or non-real estate items, uh, such as student loans. The fourth thing that you should know is, what is a bond coupon? A bond's coupon is the amount of annual interest rate paid. In most cases, the coupon is a fixed percentage of the bond's face value. So for example, you have a $1,000 bond with a 3% coupon. That would pay $30 in interest per year. The fifth thing you should know is that most bonds are graded. Third-party rating agencies each have their own systems, but they all assess how likely it is a bond will repay principal in full to the bondholder upon maturity. Generally, the lower the rating, the higher risk, uh, and therefore the higher the interest that would be paid on that particular bond. The sixth thing you should know about bonds is what determines a bond's price. Now, a bond purchased from an issuer costs its face value or also car called par value. So if it's a $1,000 bond, the face value is $1,000. The par value is $1,000. But after the initial purchase, a bond's price can fluctuate up or down on the secondary market where bonds trade between brokers based on the market conditions. So bonds can go up and down in value as a result. The seventh thing to know is what is a bond yield? A bond yield is the actual amount of return you could realize on it. Yield is inversely related to price. So if a thousand dollar bond is purchased at a 3% coupon and interest rates rose to three and a half percent, that $1,000 bonds price would drop to $857. This keeps old, and new bonds competitive. And an $857 bond with a $30 coupon yields the same 3.5% as a new $1,000 bond issue with a 3.5% coupon. That's a little tricky. So you may want to you know, rewind that part again and listen to it and maybe do the math out on paper so you can kind of see the difference. Uh, the eighth thing you should know about bonds is what is a bond's maturity? So maturity is the length of the bond's term, and it can be measured in months, years, or even decades. If an investor holds a bond until maturity, its term ends, and that's when the principal is paid or repaid in full, unless, of course, the issuer defaults, which would not be a good situation. But what's the ninth thing you should know about bonds? Well, all investments have risks even bonds. And I kind of referred to that a little bit uh, a few moments ago. It's not a comprehensive list, but some of the most common risks for bonds include credit risk, which means the issuer fails to repay investors at maturity. And interest rate risk, which means bond prices rise or fall when interest rates change. Not all bonds are equally sensitive to interest rate changes. The degree of sensitivity is called duration.
The 10th thing you should know about bonds is how to get started investing in bonds. Unlike stocks, bonds aren't publicly traded on an exchange, but investors can purchase them over the counter on a secondary market through a broker or in the case of US treasuries, directly from the government. They're also professionally managed uh, mutual funds or exchange traded funds that offer access to a wide variety of bonds and expert resources. Um, you know, the call to action for this is re-watch this or re-listen to it uh, before you go looking at bonds, but just basically educate yourself on bonds before you go into uh, purchasing one of them or adding them into your portfolio. So again, call to action, education. Educate yourself about the bonds, the bond process, the risk, um, all the things that we talked about here today to make a more informed decision about uh, bonds in your portfolio. Again, I'm Regina McCann Hess, president of Forge Wealth Management, and my website is forgewealth.com. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube at Forge Wealth. On Insta, we're Forge Wealth Management, and LinkedIn, Regina McCann Hess. Go make it a great day. Thanks. Bye-bye.